Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am the Maze Mad Man. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, share this with your friends on social media, and as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Today we are talking flip candidates for the Wolverines. A couple elite prospects. The Wolverines have the high potential to flip, plus the number one player in the class of 25 throws some shade at the Wolverines. All that I'm and of course set. No disrespect Respectfully But disrespectfully It's disrespect Don't be disrespectful Those vile disgusting Spartans Poor little bro man And I'ma tell them why I'm mad That vile disgusting Cesspool in Columbus The other state And of course as always I'm upset. Have you ever asked yourself, why am I paying so much for cell phone service? I'm sure you have. I know I have. And I have a solution for you in the form of Mint Mobile. Use the description in the video here. Check out Mint Mobile's plans. You can get unlimited service for as low as $15 a month. That is not a gimmick. Trust me. First things yeah. first, I'm going to tell them why I met. The number one player in the state of Michigan. The number one player in the entire class of 2025 has thrown some shade at Michigan. Not only is he the number one player in the state of Michigan, he's the number one player in the state of Michigan in the class of 25 who goes to school not even 30 minutes away from Ann Arbor has thrown some shade at the Wolverines. Check this clip out. Development the quarterback position. And like, they've had a as you go as far as like history and things like that. Like that was a big thing for me. Like for Michigan, you got you're fine. Don't yeah. yeah. You all this, all this was gonna be yours. I wasn't gonna make you sign no prenuptial. For those of you who don't know, that is the number one player in the class of 2025, Bryce Underwood, quarterback for Belleville High School. For those of you in the know and wondering, yes, that Belleville, the one just down the road from Ann Arbor, that Belleville. Anyway, Bryce was being heavily recruited by the Wolverines. This is in the Jim Harbaugh era, right? Last season, especially, he took several visits to, to Michigan, to A2, uh, especially after the quarterback coach change, right? Kirk Campbell did an excellent job of recruiting Bryce and Bryce's family, right? It looked like a two-horse race between the Wolverines and LSU. At the end of the day, it probably was, but he chose the LSU Tigers, which is fine, all right? We had to deal with that, the sting of him choosing LSU over Michigan initially, which was sucky, but whatever, we got over it. That said, this thing is different. Like, now you're peeling off the scab, right? Like, I'm not really worried about it. You are, it is what it is. You, you go into LSU, you, you're rocking the LSU chain. That's 50 cent well spent out of that LSU bubblegum machine that they got that chain out of. Great. Nice. The NIL money is, is decent. Great. But, dog, you ain't got to rip the scab off like that, insinuating that Michigan doesn't produce quarterbacks or develop quarterbacks. Now, here's the skinny, though. And Michigan fans, you're about to be upset. Michigan has two quarterbacks drafted in the first round in recent memory. By the way, one of them not so recent in Jim Harbaugh. Before J.J. McCarthy, Jim Harbaugh was the only other or the last Michigan quarterback drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. So on that front, he has a point, okay? we Tom Brady is a anomaly. He's sort of a, a thing off to the side here because if we're being honest, Michigan fans, at least the ones who can – you know, who are historians or who can remember this, Lloyd Carr didn't exactly do a great job with Tom Brady. In fact, 
Lloyd Carr was so far up Drew Henson's ass that he damn near couldn't see. He didn't see the gym that was right in his face, the 6'5 gym from California, right in his face, Tom Brady. I digress. Tom Brady, we know, went on to be the GOAT in the NFL. Fine. But the kid's not necessarily lying. It just sucks that he said it out loud and in public. And now we have to peel that scab off and our rivals and other fan bases are pointing and laughing. It sucks for us. That's why I'm upset. But Wusa, we move on. Moving on to some more positive news. Michigan is in a great position to potentially flip two elite prospects out of their southern schools one of those schools being miami which is a little get back which would be a little get back for miami flipping edge rushers in the last two classes from michigan the other being south carolina which is also nice for two years ago when they stole nicholas harbor right out of the clutches of the wolverines but that's neither here nor there this would be excellent because michigan and these positions has a need. So let's go over it. Let's talk a little bit about it. The first of those potential flip candidates is on 300 top 100 linebacker Elijah Melendez. Melendez committed to Miami back in December of last year after a really four team race between the other state, Miami. In Florida, really three teams because Penn State really wasn't as close as they thought they were, apparently. But either way, those three teams were balloting it out for Melendez. This is before Brian Jean Marie actually joined the Wolverines and Miami won out, right? Gaining his commitment, as I said, back in December. Elijah Melendez, 6'1, 210 pounder out of Asquela High School in Kissimmee, Florida. Now that Brian Jean Marie has joined the Wolverines, has been talking very positively about the Wolverines. In fact, the coaches, both Wing Martindale and Brian Jean Marie, stopped by his high school to speak with him. He had this to say. He said, the visit with Coach BJ and Coach Wink went really well. They just wanted me to know that I was a priority. They really love me. Having the defensive coordinator and linebackers coach come out shows the love. They said they need me and want me on their team. Coach BJ, who Brian John Marie, of course, is a really great guy. We've been talking since he was at Tennessee. We click really well. We're always on the phone with each other. We have a really strong relationship. He gives me good tips all the time. A lot of people think Coach Wink is an old grumpy guy, but he's really an old funny guy. He's really a good coach and a really good dude. We always get on the phone as well. He went on to say that Coach Wink has already given him a nickname of Bam Bam. Melendez is originally out of the Midwest from Gary, Indiana. So that's a positive. Another thing that Michigan has going for them is the fact that four-star quarterback in Michigan commit Carter Smith, who is also from Florida, is heavily recruiting Melendez to Michigan as well. He had this to say about that. I think Carter is a great player, and a great guy. He has a chance to lead Michigan in a positive way. He says I'm a dog and that he wants me to come be a leader with him. So right now, Michigan trying to flip Miami commit Elijah Melendez, which may be uh, more difficult than people think for a number of reasons, including the fact that Miami apparently isn't shy about tossing around the NIL bag. We'll see what happens, though, and I'll keep you posted as more information becomes available on this. The other prospect that Michigan is attempting to flip is top 100 South Carolina cornerback Shamari Earls. He is a 6'1", 175-pounder out of Chester, Virginia, Thomasdale High School, currently ranked inside the top 100, the number 12 cornerback out of or in the class of 2025 and the fourth-ranked player in the state of Virginia. He is currently committed to South Carolina. As I said, he committed to South Carolina in April, but 
Lamar Morgan, the Wolverines' new defensive backs coach, is working overtime to try and flip Earls. Earls, who recently spoke with the Wolverine, said this. I really appreciate him stopping by. I gave him a shot because he gave me a shot. We connected about a lot of things and how I would fit into the program. It actually went really well. They rose up my board. He talked to me about how well I move and said a lot of big corners can't move like that. He likes my feet and the way I press. He also went on to say it was a great it was great talking to him face to face. He knows ball. That's the type of guy I need coaching me, the physical aspects and the God given talent I already have with the guy that has the knowledge is all you can ask for and just grow from there. That is Excellent news for the Wolverines coming from the t another top 100 player in the 2025 class. He also went on to say that the Wolverines are a top four school for him right now. He said his whole family is supposed to get on the phone with Coach Morgan to get to know him a little more, which is another positive for the Wolverines. Obviously, Lamar Morgan doing what he can to try and flip Shamari Earls. It would probably help to have Coach Wink Martindale in on the call as well we'll see what happens obviously and we'll update you as more information becomes available with shamari earls as well as melendez finally we'll end it with someone i forgot to mention in the last video who was also taking an official visit to michigan this weekend and that is texas defensive lineman dj sanders he's out of belleville high school in belleville texas currently ranked the 117th player nationally the 16th ranked defensive lineman and the 21st ranked player out of the state of texas 6'4, 290 pounder he received an offer from michigan back in january and since then has been in contact with the wolverines obviously taking this official it will be his first trip to a2 so hopefully the coaches can knock this one out of the park right now it looks like a battle for his services will be between texas schools as texas a&m and texas are both heavily favored here but the michigan wolverines have an opportunity obviously lou esposito has proven his chops uh early on as the defensive uh, line coach and i'm sure that he can make a move here along with help from defensive coordinator wink martindale but i'll keep you posted as more information becomes available on dj and the other prospects that said it we've reached that time where i must bid you adieu follow me everywhere at maze madman be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and of course, stay angry, my friends. I'm upset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might be our best season ever. My ratings, you're about to go to the league. All right, all right, now, now I'm gonna calm down, so I'm gonna calm down. So I don't, I, don't, I just don't get that, all that mace okay. and that lock shit and all, all right. that puff. I just don't get it, son, okay, for just, real. Just calm and how the f*** you?